Now, the Lagos flooding is in part due to a long-running drainage problem. Jacinta Obiko was out on the street to find out how people are reacting to this. Take a listen. It's a rainy season, but only a few people could have imagined today's outpouring would be this much. The rain started in the morning in many parts of Lagos and continues into the evening. Highbrow Victoria Island, particularly here at Ligali Ayarinde Street, is flooded and residents are struggling to get home from work. The whole VI is flooded like this. We are not happy. We are walking inside the water. And it is not healthy for VI to be like this. Everywhere is blocked. Traffic everywhere is jam-packed. Please, we are calling on Lagos State Government to please help us to do something. When they even meet us on Third Milan Bridge or anywhere, they still use escorts to chase us. They oppress us on the road. So let them give us good road, please. It's up to the government to do the needful. They know what to do. They have to, you know, Ensure the drainage has a higher depth. When I was in my village hearing about Lagos, I was like, wow, Lagos is a kind of a place which I come, I'll have fun, flags and all that. But me now, carrying my shoe in my hand, walking under this place, I don't even like it at all. I feel like going back to my village. The kind of drainage breaking for us to just, you know, commute to the bus stop. I'm not sure for the government if they're cleaning this road. They need to clear the gutter. Fix this road and make it nice. Walking under this rain, not good. Today, because of this rain and the flooding, our staff bus couldn't move. We have one at the traffic light that got spoiled there because of the heavy flood. So we are just praying that the government or the state government can help us to fix the road. You know, at least there's no proper drainage here. So the thing is, have been a very big problem to us here. Nigeria's most popular state is a coastal city which is prone to waves, tides and storm surges. But experts have long blamed a poor drainage system for much of the floats in Lagos. There is practically nowhere one can move around here without being soaked, including vehicles on the road. I mean, look at me. Look at the level at which the water is on me. And this is mostly the concerns and fears of residents here in Victoria Island, especially during the rainy season. Talking of flooding, Jacinta Obugu reporting for Floss TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.